One of the biggest questions I get as a public speaker on the virtual stage is, where do I look and who do I talk to? Hey, it's a trigger, Rich Bond Trigger here with another pro speaker's tip to help you better rock the virtual stage. We've all been in many Zoom calls by now. We've been in webinars and many different streaming events. And there's that struggle with where do you look and who do you talk to? Because usually we're in the gallery or the Brady Bunch box. You know what I'm talking about. All the box with all the faces and all the names and all the distractions. As a speaker, you're looking to your audience now and you're looking at their bedrooms, their backyards, their, their, their cars, their dog that jumps up on them maybe even their laundry and you got to figure out where you're going to look and who you're really going to talk to the live stage you can read the emotion of the audience you can actually pick up on the vibe the laughter the just the the energy in the room helps so much the virtual stage does not give you that so the struggle is who am i really talking to and who am i really going to look at I'm gonna give you the best tip I learned as a broadcaster that will help you to change how you present on the virtual stage. You really don't wanna to talk to the crowd, you wanna to talk to the one. As a broadcaster, I learned early on that I was doing mass media, and instead of saying we, you all, hi everybody, I turned it into, I was talking to one person. My friend, my imaginary friend, we would go to the baseball games. We would go to the football games. And I would describe the games in a way that would be relatable to one person. As if we were sitting on the couch, sharing a drink, and watching the game. And that's how I did my broadcasting. It was more captivating, more engaging, more personal, and more insightful. When I was in church ministry, and I'm sure other leaders, other speakers, pastors, you've run into this. You, 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 get, you get done, someone comes up to you and says, were you talking to me? Everything you said today directly impacted me. I never wrote a message. I never wrote a sermon for any one particular person in my church, in my audience. It was always for the one. As a communicator, as a speaker on this virtual stage now, I encourage you to change your mindset and learn how to talk to the one. There's a couple of great benefits to this, by the way. Number one, Zoom fatigue will disappear. Because instead of looking at the camera all the time, figuring out, should I be looking in the right quadrant, looking in the left quadrant? Oh, man, Steve is completely checked out. How do I re-engage him? Instead of thinking of that, you will just be focused on talking to the one. Now, the one really is the crowd, but you're going to speak in a way that it's really about the one. It's going to help your eye contact. You're going to talk to that camera like it's one real person. And you're going to have a dialogue that becomes much more powerful when you talk to the camera lens like it's a real person. It's not a crowd. It's not a video box. It's a real person. And the great outcome is it's going to create a much more personal connection. You will get those aha moments just like I had in church, just like I had in radio broadcasting. People on your team, people that you're teaching, presenting to are going to feel like he or she was talking directly to me. I felt it. They, they were so engaging. Their words were so personal. Today, make an adjustment. As you prepare for your next webinar, as you prepare for your next business meeting, your board meeting, your Zoom event, turn the conversation from the crowd and turn it into a conversation for one. I'd love to hear your comments, your thoughts on how to make this big shift. Does it work for you? If you have any questions about how to really make this come alive, I'd love to hear from you. Throw your comments down below, reach out to me anytime, and I'd love to help you better rock the virtual stage. Hey, until next time, I'm the Trigger Rich Bond Trigger. God bless, and have a great day rocking the stage.